Okay, hi everybody. Uh, it's Chad here. I've had a lot of positive feedback uh, from my runner's knee stretches, so I thought I would post a couple more videos here on things that I've been doing in the last year. I've been kind of transitioning to running in uh, barefoot or minimalist type running shoes, and I've ran, I've ran into some problems that I've actually kind of corrected through some different types of stretches and warming up over the past 12 months, so I thought I would share those. If you're thinking about transitioning to different types of um, a different type of running with the more minimalist type shoes a good idea is to do it slowly that's what I've learned it's taken me about I don't know 12 months to transition from the traditional type running shoes and a heel strike to more minimalist type shoes that focus and encourage a more midfoot or forefoot strike so what I thought I would share is what I have learned and the, qu the quickest thing you're going to notice when you transition from traditional type running shoes to a minimalist type or barefoot running is you're going to have a lot of pain from your uh, in your Achilles tendon and you really want to stretch that out a lot before you even start the transition. So let me grab my shoes real quick to show you kind of what I mean and why there's such a pain when you transition to uh, minimalist type running. These are traditional type running shoes, and what you have, the problem you have is, as you can see, you have a big heel when you run and minimalist in uh, traditional type running shoes. And if you're transitioning to running in something more minimalist, like the Vibram Five Fingers right here, you'll see that there's really, there's really no heel. So what you're going to do is, when you run, you're going to actually, when you run, you're going to, your foot is going to go back down way farther, and you're going to put much more strain on that Achilles tendon. So what you want to do is you really want to stretch out your Achilles, your Achilles tendon, your calf muscles, and your soleus muscles before you even start the transition. And I found uh, two, um, actually one great stretch to do that, to loosen up your soleus and your Achilles tendons so that you won't have those problems when you start to transition to more minimalist type running. The, um, the, the problems that most runners have with their knees when they run in traditional running shoes is they run and they strike with their heel first because that's the way that most running shoes are set up. They got a big giant cushion on your heel here and they, that encourages you to strike with your foot, with your forefoot or with your heel first and you run down. And what that does is that shock puts, um, that shock, when you run, you're gonna strike heel first and that's gonna put all that shock going straight up into your knee. And that's not how our bodies have evolved to run. Our bodies have evolved to run without shoes. And what ideally, if you run um, a correct way that our bodies have evolved to run, you're going to strike with your forefoot or midfoot first. And all the pressure is absorbed by your calf muscle, which is way, the way it should be. That's why you see barefoot runners have such huge calf muscles, because that's where the, the shock is coming. And a lot of times that takes pressure off of your knees, so... A lot of people that transition to barefoot running, which is or minimalist type running, which is what I did, is they have knee problems because they're putting too much shock when you run. Because as you can see, if you got a traditional shoe on, it's going to put all that shock up in your knee, and it's not made to take that. If you run in a barefoot running or minimalist shoe, your 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 heel barely touches because you're striking with your forefoot first. So basically, you want to stretch out your Achilles tendon first, okay? So that's why it's a good idea if you're having knee problems to try to transition to a more midfoot or forefoot strike because that's going to take all the pressure off your knees and it's going to really build up your calf muscles where which is where the pressure and the shock is naturally absorbed by our bodies and the way our bodies have evolved uh, and our feet have evolved to run. So what I've found is uh, actually just nice to have just a, a uh, step stool here and uh, a quick way to stretch out your Achilles is to do some um, I think they're called eccentric and concentric stretches or something like that but anyway I'm not sure the technical term but I'll show you how to do it basically you could use any type of a, a uh, an elevation or somewhere you can where you can um, just kind of bend your bend your uh, your Achilles uh, down to, to a lower plane but what I found, I just happened to jump on this one day and thought, you know, I'll try my my step stool or my step ladder to see. And this thing has been perfect. So I would recommend if you've got one of these, this is the best way to do it. And what you're going to want to do is basically hop up on it. And this is good because it kind of keeps your balance too. What you want to do is first you want to step up on it. And you got to want to elevate yourself. So you want to go up 
as you can see, you're going to stretch these calf and the soleus muscles in here. So you go up and you hold that for about 30 seconds. The nice thing about the um, step stool tool is, is you want to hold, you want to try to do it and balance yourself. But if you have to, you can grab real quick to keep your balance. So. And then after 30 seconds, what you want to do is you want to go down to the to the other to the opposite end. You're really going to stretch your calf muscle in. You can see that this calf and your Achilles is getting really really stretched. And you want to try to hold your hands away because that's going to give you an even better stretch. But a lot of times, the good thing about the step stool is if you start to lose your balance, you can grab it and just bring yourself back. And then you're going to go back up. This is really going to strengthen your calf muscles going up and going down. It's going to really stretch your Achilles tendon. So I do these every day before I run. And then if you want, you can alternate and go like this. Get an individual stretch. Try to hold it. But these are really good stretches to do if you're transitioning to barefoot running. I'd usually hold it for 30 seconds up. 30 seconds down. I do that two to three times before I run. There's no need to do it after you run, but you can. It won't hurt you. And then that's just a really good stretch if you're transitioning to barefoot running. So good luck. Let me know how it goes and if that helps at all. It's also Those are also good stretches to do if you're having uh, problems with Achilles tendonitis and you're still running in traditional running shoes, which is fine. But if you are transitioning to barefoot running, those are, are really good stretches to do prior to for a couple weeks before you even try. And when you do transition to um, to barefoot running and you get your minimalist running shoes or you start running barefoot, you want to start out at a, a maximum of a half a mile run because your it's really going to put a lot of pressure on your calves and your calves are going to be really burning the next day. And a lot of people that transition to barefoot running say that they can't walk for two to three days after they start because there's your, your body's not used to absorbing all that pressure with the calf muscle. It's used to having the heel absorb because you're striking with your heel first. But when you start striking midfoot, all that pressure goes under your calf muscles and, they're, and they get overworked. So you really want to take that transition slow or you're going to run into injuries like I did. So I'm kind of uh, sharing my experiences with you to help you. Hopefully you won't have that problem. You can start with these stretches right away before you even start the transition. So good luck and let me know how it goes. Thanks.